I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and the Buckeyes are just like the Cleveland Browns there. That's the state's team right there. Everybody talks about Ohio State, everybody goes to Ohio State games. I feel like if I would've went to Ohio State, I would've got into a lot more trouble because it's easy to get home back to where all the trouble is. Yeah, this is Ohio, he was one of the top guys, but some, some kids got to go what fits them. And, and IU fish, Shane. Down the sideline, Shane Wynn may go! When we came up, you got two options. You either make it or you don't. So I couldn't thank Ted Gear Sr. enough for what he's done for my brother. It's not about football again. It's about raising young boys to be Amen. men. He did sports here at Glenville, but he was educated at Glen Academy. My little brother told me, I'm not going to an all boys I'm school. Boys all I'm not about to look at them boys all day. <laughs> but getting Academy definitely saved my brother's life. It was an eye opener. I honestly think that it was the best thing for him. The first time I met Shane was his mother came to me to get him on track academically and socially so she don't lose him. Him being raised by all women, when he come upon a man, I seen my son acting different. The way Gian comes off, his persona is like, hmm, I'll play you if I want to. Now what you gonna do about it? He respects Gian. Utmost respect. Yeah, Gian is a person that demands respect. Mm -hmm. What's up with you? I'm chilling. I can't do this. What? Nah, yeah, you can. <laughs> you, you miss me. <laughs> you miss me. That's what it is. Behavioral, um, humbleness, academics, focus. Everything about Shane changed, and it, it changed in a great way. You know, I told him about your class, man. I can't do this class. <laughs> I've never been used to the word no. I got four sisters that give me everything, and that was not happening on his time. He would call me on the phone. He said, did you come to my game? I said, no. You know how many touchdowns? I said, I don't care. Did you take the garbage out? There's plenty of kids in the world like Shane, and just to see him grow, and I know what it could have been, and I see what it is. Hey, man, that's, that's a blessing from God, you know, and I'm just proud of him. Uh, here we go. I do have a special tattoo, which is my Nana on the inside of my arm. Nana is my grandmother. She's my lifesaver. Howdy there, neighbor. Hey, I see you. I see you fast Yeah, all the time. Yeah, how you doing? Hanging in there. She always makes sure I'm all right. She calls me for every game just to tell me, now, nah, all right, Shane, don't get hurt out there. But she was always with him. I got always. Because actually, because there was no men in the family, no men around, so I knew he needed that presence. She has diabetes, and she's fighting to keep her left eye right now. That hit hard, you know, just visualizing things like, what if she can't see out that eye, and what if she can't make it to the game when I've been so used to looking in the same spot to see my family member. Just to think about it, if she wasn't there, couldn't be something I could have imagined. Let me tell you, <laughs> you want to see, right? But what I want to do, <sighs> I like to see people succeed and not necessarily see it, but to actually see them. And that's what I'm concerned with. He's a Nana's boy, and Nana comes first. Before anybody. And before anybody. Before anything, him. Anything, before anything him. Nana's Nana first. Comes first. All she wants to see is me play football, you know? That's her joy. She doesn't really care if I score touchdowns or if I even play. She just wants to see me doing something good, you know, just to stay out of trouble. I can't contain myself sometimes. I'm ready to get up and cheer now. You know, <laughs> you should see us at the game. Ohio State, you know, they everybody there is from Glenville, basically, so I ain't gonna leave nothing on the field to, to where they can be like, he ain't give his all. I mean, we going back to where all my friends can see me at, my family. I mean, I'm definitely gonna go hard that game.
This afternoon, the Hoosiers face their most difficult test of the season, Ohio State University. Indiana's chances today would appear to be slim and none, and Slim's picture's on a milk curtain right now. Garrett keeps it. No, he hands it Elliott straight ahead, wide open to the Indiana 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and into the end zone. Just like that, the Buckeyes go up 7-0 over Indiana. Snap to Barrett, guns it for Hireman, right side into the end zone for a touchdown. Ohio State, a 14-0 lead over Indiana. The Hoosiers better get some offense going here because the defense thus far hasn't been able to handle anything Ohio State's thrown at them. Snap to Diamond, looks to throw. He's in trouble, rolls and runs left side, 40, 45, gets to the 50, to the Ohio State 45, to the Ohio State 40, with room to the 30, right angle to the 20 yard line, 15, 10 yard line, 5 yard line, and he's got the Hoosiers first and goal inside the Ohio State 5. Diamond hands it to Coleman, who punches it into the end zone for a two yard touchdown run. And all of a sudden, you get the feeling that Indiana's offense is starting to believe in itself right. a little bit. Shane Wynn's giving everything he's got today. He is making triple efforts. They're having a really good, aggressive day on the offense. Team. Being from Cleveland, Ohio, you would expect that. Yeah. Handoff goes to Tevin. Tries to find a hole. He's got one. 20, 25, 30. Still going down the field. Tevin Coleman could go. He'll outrun everybody. Touchdown, Indiana. He's amazing, isn't he? Well, that is silenced some of those here in the old Horseshoe Stadium. See if the Buckeyes can find a way to respond. Toff gets punt off his right foot. Jalen Marshall at Ohio State's 46 makes the catch. Move to the left side to the 50. Marshall slows, now goes to the 45 to the Indiana 40. 35, 30, kissed by the punter. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Jalen Marshall. A 53-yard punt return touchdown for Jalen Marshall. Gets a touch pass, sweeps it around to the right side, gets to the five, and gets to the end zone. It's his second touchdown today, Jalen Marshall. Let's see if the Buckeyes' defense can pick up on this momentum now. And he's blown up at the 12. Just jumped right in there and upended Tevin Coleman in a hurry. The defense has really made some plays here. Barrett gets the snap, looks to throw, lofts it toward the end zone. One-handed catch for a touchdown, Jalen Marshall. Gets his third TD of the day. So now an opportunity for the Ohio State offense to try and close the door. He gets another touch pass and a reverse to Marshall. Left side, 50 to Indiana's 40, Marshall. To the 10 and to the house, Jalen Marshall. The Buckeyes defeat Indiana, clinching the Big Ten's East Division berth in the conference championship game. Me and Dude got up like we both we both was like. <laughs> <laughs>